Hello everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Uh, today uh, we're going to make some hay. We're going to cut this hay field. Uh, I just bought it. So there's no fertilizer on it and it needs lime. I don't know uh, how much hay we'll get off of it first cut. But uh, I think we'll just jump right in here. And we'll see if we can get it cut. So with that being said, I think we'll take the headland pass off of at least two sides here. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like very much hay on there at all, but that's all right. We'll get it tedded. And uh, we'll get what hay we can off of it. We'll fertilize it and lime it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, we'll get this hay put over into our hayloft. We do have a large cattle pen now, so we're going to need the hay for the cows. So, yep, good things coming. All right, well, we'll just get on with it. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're going to let our guy keep cutting over here. And I wanted to show you the ground texture. Yes, it does look more like a hay field. Uh, it is a definite improvement, isn't it? That is very nice. All right, we're going to get up here and we're going to start tedding this hay. Uh, hay. And uh, then we'll get a loading wagon. Uh, I don't bale my hay. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, you'll know that I, I pick the loose hay up, put it in the hayloft, or a silo, whichever is available. Uh, the reason for that is myself, I think it's a time saver, uh, definitely. I don't have to, uh, when it comes time to, to feed the cows, I don't have to go get bales. I can merely pull underneath the silo or hayloft or whatever it's in and, uh, you know, just load whatever I need. And, and and feed the cows. Now, this is a definite improvement. Look at that hay coming out of the back of that tedder. That is awesome. Isn't that nice? My goodness. Yes, that is... That is just fantastic, really. Man. All right. Well, we're going to get this field tedded. We're going to let our other guy continue to, to cut the rest of the field while we ted this. And uh, then uh, I bought a wind rower. So we'll get the wind rower down here, get this hay all wind rolled up, and we'll we'll have to purchase a loading wagon and we'll get the we'll get the hay picked up and put in the hayloft all right well we'll see you in a moment all right we're about to get this field tedded uh our worker that was cutting the hay he finished it he finished his job 
and we're about to get this field tetted into hay then we'll go get the wind rower uh, we'll get the the hay all wind rowed up get it picked up and get it put in the hayloft so we'll watch here see how smart this AI worker is that looks like maybe he's gonna Yep, he's doing what I would have expected him to do. Let's make sure he gets turned around here. Well, now he took... Now I don't know what he's doing. Uh... Oh. Yeah, yeah he's lost. <coughs> You're fired. Uh, let's see. Yeah. You're fired, bud. All right. Well, we'll get over there and we'll get this tetted. And uh, <laughs> we'll get some hay put in hayloft. All right. We've got this field of hay tetted. We're going to make a headland pass around it. And uh, then we'll see if a worker can finish it. Uh, I will say that there's a lot of work to do with the AI workers. Uh, the AI worker that I had cutting the hay did a fairly good job real good job however the AI worker I had trying to ted the hay not so good so uh, a lot of this is in testing I know Giants has said that they are going to continue to work on the AI workers uh, they know that there's there's problems but they're working on it they're they're gonna get it figured out they'll they'll get them they'll get them doing what they're supposed to be doing so with that being said that's all we can ask you know I mean there as far as I'm concerned uh, they have really greatly improved the graphics on here. The ground textures look much more real. And uh, so we'll just sit back, wait for giants to do their thing, which I know they will, and uh, enjoy the enjoy the farming part of it so like I said we're just gonna make a, a headland pass around here uh, because of the trees and stuff normally I would do away with half of them trees uh, because they're in the way from farm equipment having to turn around and plows and uh, harvesters and yeah it just doesn't make that much sense to have that many trees around a field uh, most of your big farmers you're not gonna find trees like that around their fields anyway so anyway we're just about to get around the bottom side here And we get up there on the other side. We'll turn a worker loose and see if he can windrow this hay. If not, then we'll do it ourselves. That's not a problem. So, we'll get up here and we'll find out. All right, we've got the AI worker working on it. And we'll see how they do.
Sure looks good so far. It looks real good. And like I said, this field, <clears throat> it wasn't fertilized, so our yield is not going to be that great. But uh, we'll, we'll use what we've got. We'll get it fertilized. And uh, we'll have a better crop next time. All right, it looks like maybe he's going to get it figured out here. It looks real good to me. Can't complain about that at all. That is great. Okay. So we'll let him go ahead and and get down the line, get this tedded up. Or not tedded, but windrowed. Then we'll go pick us up a uh, loading wagon and start hauling it to the hayloft. All right, this worker is doing a pretty good job on this field, getting it all raked, wind rode up. We sure can't complain anything about it. Doing a real good job. So, she'll have this done fairly quickly, and then we'll uh, go down and pick up our loading wagon, our forage harvest, or forage wagon, and uh, we'll start picking this up and putting it in the hayloft. Looking good. All right, we'll let her finish it. All right, we've got that tedded. So we'll go over here to the shop, pick up our loading wagon, and see if we can get it picked up. So this is the first time using uh, this hayloft. So I'm not exactly sure how to get the hay in it. So we'll learn together. <laughs> uh, FS22 has sure made a lot of changes. Uh, so some of what we learned in FS19 still applies, but then quite a bit of it has changed also. So, anyway, we're, we're learning as we go. That's what it's all about. All right, let's take our loading wagon back and See if we can load some hay. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, we're going to attempt to pick up some of this hay. So let's see how it goes. Oh, look at the hay coming in the wagon. That's a definite improvement right there. Doesn't that look good? All right. We are getting it picked up and we'll 
like I said, we, we get a load of it. We're going to take it over and see about putting it into that hayloft. So we'll learn together. But this is the way I do my hay uh, and my uh, straw. That way, whenever I want to put it over into the cattle pen, I just pull underneath the the silo and load as much as I want. It sure beats having to handle the bales and all of that. So, all right, pick that up and we'll go back down this one. Lower our pickup, and off we go again. All right. We'll keep picking this up until we get a trailer load, and uh, then we'll take it over and put it into the hayloft. All right. We're coming up on our hayloft. So we'll find out what we got to do in order to get it in there. Alright. I don't know if we have to drive through or we put it in over. I think we put it in right here. Alright. I guess we'll make this one. We'll par start putting it in here. All right. The blower's taking it, putting it up in the loft. Good deal. All right. Well, we'll go get another load. And uh, we'll see about getting it all in there. It's going to be easy measured because this is a 50,000 liter uh, wagon. So it uh, shouldn't be too hard to figure out how many trips you make. That's a 250,000 liter hayloft. So uh, it really doesn't hold that much, but I think for the size of this farm and no more cows than what we're going to have, uh, I think it'll work just fine. So we'll go get some more of this picked up. All right. So far, uh, we've put 150,000 liters in our hayloft, and it's only going to hold two more loads. So we may have to buy another hayloft, have it built, uh, just to hold our hay. And we may have to do the same with straw. Actually, 250,000 liters is not that much whenever it comes to farm simulator. So, we'll do what we have to do, but we'll have hay to feed our cattle. All right, we'll continue picking this up till we get it done. All right. We built another hayloft. Had it constructed because the one that we were putting this in is full. And uh, so we'll put this in the second hayloft. And uh, See if we can get it filled up. Uh, 
I think that's probably what it's going to take is two hay lofts for hay and two hay lofts for straw. That way it gives you a chance to cut hay and rake it, get it picked up before your animals get hungry. So that's what we'll do. But boy, this ground texture sure is different and it looks good. We'll have to check to see if grass regrows on this on FS22 or not because I'm not sure. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if that's changed. If so, we'll have to replant hay. So, but. We'll get that all checked out, and we're loaded, and we'll go to the second hayloft. So we got to watch this train that runs across here. I don't know how much of a warning it gives you, if any. I, I don't know. So... Yeah, we'll we'll watch it. Now, let's see. I think I come right in here. And we'll cross right here. There we go. And here's our second halo. So let's get the hay put in here. He's blowing that hay up into the loft. But anyway, we will get the rest of that field picked up. Alright, we're about to get this field picked up. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Uh, if you'd like to see more content like it, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that way you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Uh, a lot of this is just trying to find out and figure out how FS22 works. Uh, I'm learning as I go. Uh, as you know, with Farm Simulator, there's no instruction packet. Uh, you just got to get in there and do what you think is right. And... Uh, you know just go from there so as for me the dirt road farmer I think we're gonna call this a video and we'll see you tomorrow thank you for watching <laughs>